Hello, my name is Sean, and today I'll be going over black hexa buttons. So, for this one, we're first, at least what I'm going to do first, is to determine the board, the button order to read them, in a sense. To start off, we're going to hover over the center button, and one of the buttons will light up as one of those highlights and all that. So we're basically highlighting the center button and taking note of what button is being highlighted. And that's the first button we're going to read. So top right would be the first case. And then we're going to highlight the top right button to see what other button highlights, which is going to be top right. So we're going to hover, we're going to use the hover button's position as the row, as well as the lit up button as the column. So top right, top right to give us basically the new button to visit, which is going to be bottom right. So I have to visit bottom right, which is lighting up middle right. So we're going to use bottom right as the hovered button and middle right as the column. And the next button to visit is top left. So using top left, that is highlighting middle left top left, middle left, and that's going to give us another top left, but we already visited top left. So what you do in this, if this position has already been visited, we go to the next position on the table in reading order. So going to here, we get middle right, which we have not visited yet. So we have middle right, which is highlighting middle left. So we go middle right, middle left. That takes us to bottom right, which we already visited. Then it takes us to middle left, which we haven't visited. And then by a process of elimination, we don't have to worry about the rest of them because all we need to do now is find out which one we haven't visited, which is going to be bottom left. So now that we got the buttons in, our order now. Now we're going to basically read them in this order. And how do you read them? Well, you press the button and it will transmit a Morse code message. As you hear there, not a message, it's more of a Morse code character. But if you are unable to hear, you know, if you're hard of hearing or whatnot, you can press the status light to activate deaf mode. And doing so will actually disable the sound and turn it into a light instead. So those will be two dots. So let's press bottom right now. Dash dot dash. Next was top left. Uh, I think that's dash dot dot. Yep, dash dot dot. Then middle right. I think that was three dots. Yep, three dots and two dashes. Then middle left, dash dot dot. Okay. And then bottom left. Uh, let's see here. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot, dot dash dash. All right, and now what we're going to do is to translate all these Morse code characters into actual letters. So here's a Morse code table right here. So dot dot is going to reference to India. Dash dot dash is not that one. It, I think it's K. Yep, K. Then dash dot dot is brief is Delta. Then dot 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 dash dash is going to be three. Then dash dot dot is going to be another delta and dot 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 dash dash is another three. Now what do we do? Well, we're going to take each of these characters and turn them into new characters that we're going to transmit back to the module. Using basically the position where it came from as the row and the character as the column. So top right with India turns into x-ray. And then we do so, so bottom right with kilo turns into bravo. Then top left with delta turns into golf. 
Then there's also a separate table for numbers, such as middle right with 3 turns into 8. Then middle left with delta turns into Zulu. And then finally, bottom left with 3 turns into 2. All right, and this is the order that we need to transmit the characters in. So X-ray, Bravo, Goff, 8, Zulu, 2. And how do we transmit? Well, using an altered version of tap code right here, we're going to treat the buns as if they're labeled 1 through 6 in reading order. And basically using the characters, taking the characters row first, and then the column transmitting each one. So X-ray would turn into 4, 6. Then Bravo turns into 1, 2. I'm going to split them up a little bit. Golf is next, so this turns into 2, 1. Then 8 turns into 6, 5. And then Zulu turns into 5, 2. And then finally 2 transfers to 5, 5. Now we have to transmit basically these numbers. I'm going to do it in pairs, at least in groups of four here. And to enter transmit mode, we're going to press the center button. You'll notice that the center button will start flashing, indicating we're in transmit mode. And we got to just basically press the buttons in this order while labeling them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you'll notice that when we actually do the transmitting and submitting the buttons in, you notice straight away, or maybe not straight away, but basically the first button to glow red is the first button that we did in reading order which is the top right, signifying that when it turns red, we basically transmitted half of that message and pressing the six finishes the message for that button. Now, if we do one, two, bottom right will be the next one to flash because that's the next button that we needed to do. Then we need to do two, one, which will do top left, then six, five, we'll do middle right, five, two, do middle left and then five five. All right. Now here's something that I would usually do in a case like this. So first we have bottom left that we have visited first. So first I'm gonna press the start button so I can do this. No, that's bottom right, not bottom left. And bottom right is basically showing top right and it's transmitting dash dot dot. So let's see, bottom right with top right is middle left. So then me as expert would say, okay, middle left is next. So middle left is doing middle right and the sequence that it's doing that is a single dot. So let's see, middle left with middle right turns out to be bottom right, which we already visit, middle left, which we already visited and bottom left, we have not yet. So the next one would be bottom left. Bottom left is showing top right, and it's doing three dashes and a dot. So let's do bottom left with top right, gives us middle right. Middle right is next, which is doing middle left, and on top of that, Dot, 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 dash, dash. I feel like that's the correct. Dot, 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 dash, dash, correct. So next is middle right with middle left does bottom right, which we already visited. Middle left, which we already visited. Top right, we have yet visited. That means basically the last one that we have need to visit is top left because that's the last one. So next is top right. We don't need this because this is just the last sequence. So. Sorry, I was looking away. It was dot, dash, dot. Yeah, dot, dash, dot. And then top left is dot, 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 dot. Is that four dots or five dots? One, two, three, four. Four dots. 
And then from there, the expert will go to work on this. So dash dot dot is turns into a delta. And then dot single dot is an E. Dash 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 dot dot is an eight. Dot 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 dash dash is a three. Dot dash dot is an R. And finally, four dots is an H. Then we need to turn these into a sequence here. So bottom right with delta turns into whiskey. Middle left with echo turns into Yankee. Bottom left with eight turns into six. Middle right with three turns into eight. Top right with Romeo is Mike. And finally, top left with hotel turns into alpha. And then we just gotta turn all these into actual characters. So whiskey turns into four, five. Yankee turns into five, one. And then six turns into six, three, with eight being six, five. Mike turns into three one, and then five alpha turns into one one. So I would then go into submission or transmit mode and do uh, four five five one. So four five five one six three six five. So six three six five, and then three one one one. And that is Black Hexabuns. I hope all of you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, guys, keep talking and don't explode.